What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Athlete. <laughs> In today's video, y'all are gonna get a chance to see the top 10 pre-game snacks football players should eat on game day. Essentially, all I'm gonna be doing is really breaking down the 10 snacks that I've eaten over the past 12 years of playing football. I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to see what your guys' thoughts are, so make sure you guys leave a comment down in the description below about what your thoughts were on these snacks and which ones are your favorites, which ones weren't, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Now with that said, let's get right into the video. And before we get into the video, make sure you guys stay tuned because I promise the college football game day vlogs are gonna be coming real soon. All right, let's get right into the video. Yeah. <laughs> guys so like i was saying earlier i apologize for being a little bit extra with that intro but it's a little late right now and uh, your boy had to wake his up for this video i'm really excited to get a chance to make this video for you guys because like i mentioned a little bit ago these are the top 10 pregame snacks that i've eaten over the course of about 15 years of playing the sport of football before we get into snack number one i kind of want to give you guys a little bit of background in regard to just the timing of things before you actually play a game and why it's important to make sure you guys are feeling your bodies before your game Timing is everything, and when you eat is just as important as what you eat. Your body needs two to three hours to digest a meal, whether that's your late lunch or early dinner before a game. A small snack that you might eat before a game is usually good to do so about 30 minutes in advance. And it's really important that you guys do load up when you are having your main course meals, but to not overeat and to make sure that you guys still are snacking as you get closer and closer to game time. Now let's get into pregame snack number one. So for starters, I'm a real big fan of almond butter and jelly sandwiches, better known as peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's really all personal preference whether y'all wanna eat peanut butter or almond butter. I personally go with almond butter. The combinations of healthy fats and protein, along with fiber from the whole grain bread, provides you as an athlete with optimal nutrients to keep you fueled all the way up until halftime. For most high school and middle school football players, y'all know that you pretty much end school at about 2.15, and the last meal you probably haven't had wasn't until lunch. So you guys are kind of in this fasting state unless you've been able to snack after your lunch so it's really important that you guys make sure that you get your calories in right after school and then also another little baby meal before you actually head to the stadium for pregame i remember back in the high school days it was really hard for me to make sure that i was getting all my calories in each day as well as once it got closer to game time i kind of got a little bit nervous so it really started to get tough for me to eat food so in order to combat that what i started doing was tracking all of the calories that i'd be eating every single day i use the my fitness pal which allows me to essentially track everything that i've eaten throughout the day and then i can get a chance to see how much food i still need to finish before it gets close to game time Let's now move on to pregame snack number two. For pregame snack number two, another one of my favorite go-tos and a must-have before game day is trail mix. Nuts like almonds, peanuts, and cashews provide healthy protein and healthy fats for you as an athlete. Mixing those nuts with simple carbs like dried fruit, pretzels, and granola make it a really good combo. Getting the opportunity to mix and match your favorite ingredients in trail mix is something that I really do enjoy doing, but when in doubt, whenever I want a, just a convenient pack of trail mix, I usually always go for the Costco pack that I'm gonna have pop up somewhere right here. So I definitely recommend y'all go for that, but if y'all don't have a Costco in your area, Winco is kind of the place that we have here in McMinnville. That's my go-to and that's where I actually get a chance to mix and match my trail mix. Make sure you guys stay tuned because in some future videos, I'll actually be taking y'all with me to Winco and we're gonna get a chance to make some dank trail mix. Let's now move on to pregame snack number three. Sports nutrition bars are great because they take the time and thinking out of the equation and they give you a portable, non-spoiling meal to allow you to get fuel for your game day. The only drawback to sports bars is that it can be pretty expensive. And not to mention some of them have some taste and textures that are not tasty at all. But what I'd recommend for you guys is that there's a variety of sports bar brands out there. And what I ended up having to do was try out a bunch of them to figure out which ones I personally liked. And with that said, my number one favorite all time sports nutrition bar has to be the Fit Crunch Bar. Y'all definitely gotta get a chance to try out the Fit Crunch Bars. You can get them at pretty much any convenience store and you definitely gotta try the peanut butter flavor. Let's now move on to pregame snack number four. 
Both Cliff Bar and Gatorade have gummy bear slash gummy square products. that are loaded with simple carbs that allow your body to be able to break them down quickly and to provide energy so that you're ready for game day. Gatorade Chews are high in vitamin B6, which helps you convert carbs into energy. And for the past three years, my football team has always been eating the Gatorade Chews right before games. And like I said, not only do they provide you with energy, but they also taste really well. With that said, let's now move on to pregame snack number five. So for pregame snack number five, I'm gonna be switching up things a little bit and throwing a little different little snack that I don't usually eat all the time, but every now and then occasionally I'm craving it. And that has to be beef jerky with some type of fruit. Ultimately, beef jerky is high in protein and sodium, which can help you from not cramping out when you're on the field. And the fruit is rich with carbs, which is then gonna be able to allow you to have energy throughout the first quarter. What I typically do is I get an apple, a cheese stick, and some good old fashioned beef jerky. And this three combo here all goes really, really well together. I throw the cheese in there just to add that little bit of flavor, but you also get that salty taste from the old fashioned jerky mixed with the sweet taste of the apple and boom, it's amazing. You guys are definitely gonna have to try this one out and let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on pregame snack number five. Let's now move on to pregame snack number six. Another easily packed and very convenient snack for pregame is peanut butter pretzels. Not only do you get the mix of carbohydrates with some sodium, but you also get a little bit of protein in the peanut butter. Not only to this day am I still snacking on peanut butter pretzels before game day, but I also just have them as a regular snack because they're also really good with your protein shakes. So you guys will definitely have to try that out. Ultimately, peanut butter pretzels are pretty self-explanatory. If you've never tried them before, I hope you all enjoy them. And let's now move on to pregame snack number seven. So for all of you football players out there, as well as any of you athletes that are watching this video, hydration is very important and it starts two to three days before your actual day of competition. It's also really important that you guys are staying hydrated throughout the day, all the way leading up until game day, especially in the two to three hours before game time, about one cup every single 15 minutes, but make sure you're not drinking too much so that you have to go to the bathroom 25 seven. Water definitely has to be my go-to, but if I were to be drinking some sports drinks, it would be the Glacier Cherry Gatorade, some great Pedialyte, or some coconut water. Now with that said, let's now move on to pregame snack number eight. Pre-game snack number eight is really for those of you guys that really struggle eating before game times. I know what that feeling is like and it's just really hard to put food down. So what I would do to combat that is I drink a protein shake. And basically what I do is I get my favorite type of protein, which is usually some first form chocolate protein, and I get some chocolate almond milk. So pretty much all I do is add 12 ounces of chocolate almond milk and one scoop of protein. And then I've got myself a protein shake to drink right before the game. So like I was saying, for those of you guys that struggle eating before games, maybe it's because of nerves, definitely a protein shake is way to go and I would try to stay away from milk. Lastly, for those of you guys that want to get a little bit more advanced, try mixing some chocolate protein powder with some coconut water. Not only does it taste good, but it's important for your muscle contraction so you don't get any cramps. Let's now move on to pregame snack number nine. Fruit has appeared on this list quite a bit throughout this entire video so far, but nonetheless, there's nothing better than just pure fruit itself and getting those simple carbs and having them turn right into energy before a game. And something I like to do myself is get those fruit cups that you can get at pretty much any convenience store. It just kind of takes me back to the days when I was playing Pop Warner football. And what I usually go with is either some tangerines or some grapefruit before game day. I know there's a lot of other fruits out there that might be better than those two, but for me personally, those are just kind of my two favorite snacks to chomp on and ultimately on game day a high carbohydrate snack with little to no fat or fiber is going to be able to top off your physical energy as well as fuel your brain to be mentally focused let's now move on to the last and final pregame snack All right, so for the last and final pregame snack, I just wanna first off say thank you guys so much for showing love and support. And if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna be revealing one of my most recent new favorite snacks that I love to eat pregame. And what it consists of is chocolate rice cakes, Siggy's vanilla yogurt, 
and raspberries. And basically what I do is I take two big chocolate rice cakes, not the, not too big, but like this size, and I spread the vanilla Siggy's yogurt, which is high in protein, low in sugar, and has no high fructose corn syrup, on the rice cake, and then I add about five raspberries. Not only is one of my favorite snacks right now, but it also is one of my favorite pregame snacks. And with that said, everybody, this is gonna conclude the top 10 pregame snacks that y'all should be eating. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm gonna be looking into dropping top 10 snacks y'all should be maybe snacking on during halftime as well as post game and the next couple of videos. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Again, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for showing love and support. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers and that is absolutely insane. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.